Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Pages Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 258, Fetch XML with the Web API. While you won't find it specifically mentioned in the documentation, the Power Pages Web API does support executing Fetch XML statements. The syntax mirrors that of the Dataverse Web API. Use the Fetch XML query string parameter and make sure you encode the XML using encode URI. As with any web API operation, table permissions are enforced, as well as the web API site settings, including which fields can be returned. If you're using fetch XML, you can't use the other OData parameters like $select, $top, and $orderBy. Instead, Use the attribute, count, and order features within the fetch XML query itself. You can also use the paging cookie functionality if you need. Fetch XML offers great features like being able to calculate averages via the aggregate functionality, plus advanced queries not possible with O data filters. So having this available via the web API is super helpful. Thanks for watching. And I hope you found the Power Pages tip number 258 on FetchXML with the Web API useful.